If Mr. Beast is selling burgers, the Nelk boys are selling seltzers, then it only makes sense for your boy David Dobrik to start selling pizzas. In fact, it's a genius move as who on earth doesn't love a good pizza, especially Chicago style. That's because he's from Chicago. If you don't know that, you should watch this before they're famous. Now, David Dobrik has been laying low over the past couple months, seemingly taking a break from his multiple YouTube channels, and he hasn't even posted uh, any content, really, in the last couple of months. Now, the man might have been canceled, but he's alive and well, and he's back in a very big way. In fact, another Dave, Dave Portnoy, well, he's already gearing up to give David Dobrik a pizza review. To find out what's going on with David and his new shop, well, you're gonna have to stay tuned for all the dirty details here for you on Famous news also if you're watching this video on tiktok because i know a lot of you guys are be sure to subscribe to our youtube channel we're almost at 50k subs we're soon gonna hit 100k and then we're off to the races we'll be doing double news stories each and every day <laughs> i gotta eat lay off the pizza all right let's go this is my oh no you still didn't like me you shot me yes send the location number one my calling is to be the leader of the free world now after a 13 week hiatus, well, David, he posted to Instagram, it's finally done. I can't put into words with how happy and excited I am. We spent so much time creating the most incredible pizzas and I cannot wait to see you November 12th for opening day of Dobrik's Pizza. Of course, all his fans were celebrating, but right there with the top comment was Dave Portnoy. He replied, we've spent so much time creating the most incredible pizzas. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Love it, worlds collide definitely not good. Now David also posted a video to his Instagram account of all his vlog squad members and his friends all coming together to share the reaction to his new diner, which is located on Sunset Boulevard. Take a look. Right now I'm on my way to surprise our friends with our new pizza place. None of them have seen anything about it yet. Okay, that's okay. good. Okay, ready? No. Oh, David. I don't want to cry. Oh, nice, huh? Yeah. Oh my God. Wait, this is amazing. <laughs> For those unfamiliar with Los Angeles, well, David chose uh, a very iconic location for this uh, for this pizza shop. Apparently, he bought the building two years ago, which used to be a Starbucks. And uh, well, during the height of the pandemic, I'm sure they didn't know what to do with a brick and mortar store. Well, it's located in West Hollywood, right beside the Saddle Ranch, which is like the go-to spot for influencers. At least it was during the pandemic. And uh, I'm just imagining one drunken night. They were all there going... Huh, that Starbucks is gone. Someone should really uh, turn that into a merch shop. You know what I mean? David's rich enough to be the guy to be like, yeah, I just bought it. Also next door, there's the historic comedy club, the Comedy Store. Jim Carrey got his break there. Robin Williams. The place is, uh, it's jam-packed with Hollywood history. Now it looks like David Dobrik has, uh, well, he's bought himself something that's gonna stick around even maybe long after him. Who doesn't love pizza? Who isn't on Sunset Boulevard? Everyone's gonna grab a slice and remember the good old days of them vlogs that were only four minutes and 20 seconds long now we'd be doing podcast four hours and 20 minutes my god right david you had it you had it easy now david gave his own reaction over on tiktok and he even had his parents feature in one of the videos and uh it's funny because like check out his parents you can see what part of him is his dad and what part of him is his mom it's crazy And we're happy to see the kid back on top. Will you be buying a slice of his pizza? Let us know in the comments down below. I don't think David Dobrik ever did anything too terrible for him to get the, the cancellation that he did. I mean, uh, he, really, he was just uh, in proximity to some bad things. I think the kid, although whatever, maybe fame hungry. Who is it? We're all doing this in show business, trying to get somewhere. So I think he did a great job and uh, he's a great kid. He's a happy-go-lucky guy. Okay, Jeff Winnick, that was bad. But yeah, anyway, I'm not gonna touch on that. Good work, David. See you guys in another video. Boom!